So now that we have the instruction decoder, I'll go ahead and XX this out. We can look at the next screen and see the final bits in action. As we can see here, header is very simple. Show me just the display list. And display list simply displays the header. And then it uses a begin until loop. And it simply goes through and says begin, we'll say BC20, BC20 PC plus next instruction dot. Now let's take a look at what the what this looks like when it's all said and done. BC20 blanks eight. Let's look at what the stack looks like. We're left with exactly two values. Convenient, huh? The first value is the value that we're going to feed to the equals down here. Is it a, is it a 41? No. Hell no. We need to loop back around again. We uh, The equals, of course, consumes it. And we're left with, once again, the next instruction. See? And so on, and so on, and so on. We consume that instruction because we know we're not testing against it. Sorry, PC. Ah, shit. Now that I've blown my goddamn, now that I've blown the instruction, all the way down to say BC3A. Consume it. Now, try that one more time. But finally, we get down to BC 3D PC next instruction and we're left with the 41 well the 41 gets tested and that is as equals that's a JVB so the loop terminates and that is essentially the entire disassembler that's how it works so you combine all those bits and pieces together into the display list word Sixty-seven. Sorry. To get display list here, and all I need to feed it is where to start, and it will take care of the rest. You'll notice that the final disassembler isn't all that complex, and the individual pieces that made them up were not that complex either. Yet we made a fully featured, bug-free antic disassembler in very few lines of code. Now if that's not a compelling reason to use forth, I don't know what is. Hex. Make sure you're in hex. Okay. So there you go. A fully featured antic disassembler written in forth. A tool that can be called upon at any time during development while you're writing other code. All of these words that I'm creating, I will be able to use at different points at different times while I'm writing my code without having to load another piece of software or whatnot. It's all within the same environment. And this is one of, I think, one of Forth's biggest advantages. Until next time, guys, have fun, and uh, see you guys soon.